Right now, police investigating yet another tragic shooting on Detroit's east side. The victim found this morning on Copeland near Waveney. We're told the woman was in her 30s and lived in the area. 7 National News reporter Jen Schantz is live in that area right now. And what are you learning from investigators, Jen? Well, Brian, police were on scene here just moments ago. In fact, they just wrapped up the scene. It was cordoned off with police crime scene tape. Today, we heard from neighbors who say the victim in this case lived here for several years. Well, we got to be scared. We don't know. Neighbors living near Copeland and Waveney on Detroit's east side want answers after a woman was found dead here Sunday morning. Detroit police officers and medics found the victim, a black woman in her late 30s, in a vacant lot just before 11 o'clock. She'd been shot in the head. According to a police captain on scene, it's unclear when the woman was killed. Investigators are looking for who is responsible. Police have not released the woman's name. Neighbors say she lived in the area for several years and was always friendly. This is where she lived at. She was good to all of us. You know, this is not right. She looked out for everybody. Officers spent several hours here Sunday morning collecting evidence. This homicide comes on the heels of two others on the city's east side in the last week. Those other two homicides, both shootings, happened just a day apart. One occurred on Van Dyke near Mack, another on Guilford. Detroit police are investigating a possible connection between those two and believe they could be gang related. They're looking for the driver of a black Chrysler 300 in connection to them. It's unclear at this point if this case is in any way related to those two. Again, this investigation is still in its early stages. Detroit police anticipate sharing more information with us in the coming days. If you have any information that could help, you should reach out to the Detroit Police Department. That number is on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting from the city's east side tonight, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News. Brian.